Alright, so today we're going to go over just a little bit about strings. And the thing I wanted to talk about is uh, two, two types of enclosing quotes. You have a single quote, looks like that, or you have your double quotes, right? Well, what's the difference? Why would you use a double quote over a single quote and vice versa? So if we do this, we do print hello world and we do a new line, okay? This is in single quotes. Let's go ahead and run this. And as you can see, the backslash n got included in there, right? What about variables? Uh, greeting equals world and then if we put this in here and see what that does again we're going to execute this you can see it outputted the literal variable name it didn't output our hello world so what happens if we put it in double quotes And we'll go ahead and throw a new line character in there. I mean, I'm guessing you can, you'll can. you probably guess what it does, right? Here we have hello world. So it, it prints out the value instead of the variable name. Well, what if you wanted to put... Hello world, duh. right? Well, if you wanted to do that, you can see it's giving me an issue. It's saying, no, I can't do that. Well, what if we put let's see. Oh, what is it? Is it this? Yep, let's try that. I forgot whether it, if it was a uh, the squiggly curly brace or the parentheses. Um, glad we got that figured out though. But as you can see, now you can append to it. Another way of doing that, we could have done this. Greeting. Comma, greetings, put a, right, and they match. So just some interesting things uh, to keep in mind when you're programming. Um, so yeah, so there you have it. I hope you have a great day and uh, keep programming. All right. Talk to you later. Bye now.